back to code tonight so in today's video we will see how we can implement microsoft login in asp.net so um, we have this asp.net application over here and um, we will see how we can uh, implement login with microsoft so the first thing that you will uh, have to do is you have to uh, create a new uh, client id and client secret so we will first see the steps for that so you have to log in into Microsoft Azure portal here and you can do that by uh, using Gmail account okay so uh, you can log in into your portal and then you have to go here in the search and you have to search for app registration so you will see the option over here you can click on that okay and then you have to click on new registration here you have to type the um, so we can say test demo you can type the name of the application that you are using you have to check this third option over here and then you have to select web in the option here and here you have to write the uh, redirect url of your project okay so um, that will be if you run the application okay so uh, i will just paste this because this is the url i know so I will let you know from where you will get that so when you run your application where you have the uh, login button that should be here also it should be like the redirect URL where you will get after the successful login okay so in my application I have used the same for redirect URL and the um, button URL so I am using that one okay so then you have to register So when you do the register, you will see screen like this and here you have to click on add a certificate or secret. Okay, that option. And here you have to click on new client secret. So here you can give any name, you can say the project name also, you can keep the option same and click on add. So and this will create you a new client secret key. Okay, so you have to copy this value field from here. You have to copy that and paste that somewhere because this is the same value that we have used uh, here in the code. Okay, so you have to remember that uh, we don't have to uh, copy the secret ID. We have to copy the value. Okay, now you go, go back to the overview and here you have to click on redirect urls the second option okay so again uh, you see the redirect url over here now this is the url which will be hit when you will successfully login into microsoft login okay so then it will redirect to this so as i said i am using the same url uh, home index okay now you can keep it same you have to check these check boxes and you have to click on save okay now go to overview so one value you have already copied from this client credentials now the second value is needed is client id so you can copy this this key uh, onto your code and so this client id is the same key that i just showed you you have to also put that in the um, html so i have added the same client id here and the redirect url also must be changed as per your project okay so you have to modify these two things as per your code uh, so i will just show you how it will work so i am using rest sharp package for um, uh, using the api okay so you have to install that package also now we will just run the application to see how it will work so first it will just run the code and you will be able to see the login with microsoft button so um, guys i have already um, authorized my account so it will not uh, ask for the authorization 
um, but I can um, get you through the steps uh, like uh, what you will see okay so I will just show you so when you will click on this login with Microsoft um, so um, it will go to your Microsoft account you will enter the details and then login then it will ask for authorization okay and you have to click on yes so after you click on yes it will um, go back to the code okay in the index method okay so it is also here you see that the code value that we got and uh, this parameter you will get from the Microsoft side okay after successful login uh, so now we are using that uh, for getting the access token okay so the first API that we are using here is for getting the uh, access token now once you uh, get the token then we will use that token over here to get the details from Microsoft account okay so here it will execute the request and in the content you will be able to see the data it returned from the um, Microsoft login okay so you can see the available details here so you can use that details by decentralizing so here you will be able to get the uh, details that we got from there so you can get the Gmail also like if you want to use okay so this is how you can use login with Microsoft in ASP.NET so uh, if you need the code part then what you can do is you can go to our official website codetonight.com okay we will also provide you a direct link so don't you worry about that part you can check in the video description also so here on the right side you will be so I will just refresh it once okay so you will be able to see the blog login with Microsoft you have to click on that blog and here you will see the steps that I just showed you in the video okay these are the same steps and also in the and you will be able to see the code that I just showed you in the video okay so this is the same code you have to copy this view code and you have to replace the client ID and redirect URL okay I have mentioned every step here so you can follow these steps and uh, let us know if you face any kind of issue you can also download the attachment so thanks for watching guys and let us know if you face any kind of issue